In this video, we will discuss what it means for a matrix to be in reduced row echelon form, as well as some related vocabulary. The result of applying gauss jordan elimination to a matrix is a matrix in reduced row echelon form. A matrix is in reduced row echelon form exactly if it follows the following three properties. The first non-zero entry in every row is a 1, these are called leading ones. Above and below each leading one are zeros, and the leading ones are arranged in a staircase or echelon pattern. The leading ones are in an echelon pattern if every leading one is to the right of the leading one in the row above it, and all leading ones are as far up in the matrix as possible. In the example to the right, the leading ones are arranged in an echelon pattern. Below the echelon, there can only be zeros. Above the echelon, there might be non-zeros, since not every position above the echelon is above a leading one. Let's look at some examples and non-examples of matrices in reduced row echelon form. In the matrix to the right, the first non-zero entry in every row is a 1. Above and below each of those 1s are zeros, and the leading 1s are arranged in an echelon pattern. So it is in reduced row echelon form. In the next matrix, the first non-zero entry in every row is a 1. Above and below those leading 1s are zeros, but the leading ones are not arranged in an echelon pattern. Therefore, it is not in reduced row echelon form. Let's consider two more examples. In this next matrix, we notice that the first non-zero entry in row 2 is a 4. A 4 is not a 1, so this matrix is not in reduced row echelon form. In the final matrix, there are two problems. Rows with leading ones aren't as far up in the matrix as possible, and above a leading one, there's a non-zero entry. So this matrix is not in reduced row echelon form. We will now discuss some terms associated with a matrix in reduced row echelon form. When a matrix is in reduced row echelon form, leading ones are called pivots, columns with leading ones are called pivot columns, and columns without leading ones are called free variable columns. However, if you are talking about an augmented matrix, the augmented column is not called a pivot column or a free variable column, even if, strictly speaking, it has a leading one.